Next, quickly, I wanted to check out this and comment on this because I forgot. I didn't actually talk about this, I don't think. So this has been confirmed a while back already. But um, Alessandro Michele, um, the, the former designer, former crazy director of Gucci, is now the creative director of Valentino, which is great news for me personally because I'm a big, 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 big fan of Alessandro Michele. I thought that, you know, when he was around at Gucci, he definitely was one of the big three, you know, the Demners of this world, the Musha Pradas, the Raf Simmons, um, I can't think of anybody else like I feel on top of my head the JW Andersons he was definitely in that category the Mark Jacobs those elite designers so I was actually surprised to see Gucci part ways with him when they did part ways with him but I guess they wanted just a refresh um that whole kitschy Gucci type of look was maybe getting a bit played out but I still think the shows were fantastic the clothes were amazing and the kind of ambiance and everything he created around it was just sublime and definitely like a cultural moment that people kind of were really kind of in tune with so i was surprised that gucci would kind of you know um sack that off in favor of going in house and then i think um, um what you call it hiring that guy um what's his name sabato i think i forgot sabato the discerner i think his name is right as a new creative director at the moment so that was a surprising exit but now he's got a new job at valentino which is going to be great i think he's going to do amazing stuff there i can't wait to see how he takes you know his aesthetic his codes and kind of imbues it onto um Valentino considering the extensive history they have and I think it's no surprise really Valentino was a bit boring for a while um as great as everybody kind of regards some of their previous collections and especially some of the menswear stuff um I've always loved and appreciate a lot of the coats and obviously the Valentino army sneaker which has definitely had a hold on the streets but overall 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 the, this, the collection was or the, sorry the brand in general was kind of going through a bit of a loss I'm not surprised that Gucci decided sorry that Valentino decided to make the change and hire the former Gucci manager so this is courtesy of um, The Guardian it says Alessandro Michele the former creative director of Gucci has been appointed as a creative director of the Couture House of Valentino in November 2022 um, the announcement ends after the much anticipated speculation that where, where he would go next the designer said of his new role at the Rome based brand is incredible on a I feel the immense joy and huge responsibility to join a Maison de Couture that has the word beauty carved into collective story and made a distinctive elegance, refinement and extreme grace. Michele is to thank of to blame for the era of kitsch, maximalism, gender fluidity, geek chic and unabashed crookedness. His Gucci aesthetic was the polar opposite of the quiet luxury that prevailed in recent times. Harry Styles and Billy Eilish were fans of the design of Gucci which he enjoyed in 2015 years. So again, I'm, I'm eager to see it because already look at one of these last Gucci collections for in 2019 um, as much as it was hit by a controversy that just it just says something right it's got an opinion it's got a point of view it's got an aesthetic you know you can't ignore it especially the style that he does so I'm eager to see what he does at Valentino um, it continues under Michele Gucci's revenues almost tripled but his tenure wasn't without controversy Gucci was um, embroiled in a race row in 2019 after which the polo neck that criticized said that critics said it was Emperor the blackface was pulled from the sale oh yeah I remember that Do you guys remember that that was absolutely one of the most crazy fucking things ever that that became such a big deal such a nothing issue but you know people were out for blood and were screaming black lives matter so anything that kind of pertained to insulting or demeaning of black people people were very quick to kind of jump on it it continued in the same year, the, the, a model stage of mental health protest during the brand's Milan Fashion Week, wearing a high fashion take on a straight jacket, a model held up his hands on which it says mental health is not fashion. Michele will succeed Pio Paolo Piccolio, um, Pio Sciolio, P how, how do you say his name? Piccolio, it said Pio Paolo, the much loved industry figure who stepped down at Valentino last week after more than two decades of the brand. He will still, he will start his job at Valentino HQ near Spanish um, Steps next week. His debut collection of the house will be reported at Paris Fashion Week in September so um yeah before Sofili got to Pierre Paolo by the way like two decades at one brand 20 years in one job and then basically getting fired is pretty heartbreaking but you know he he had his time in the sun he was able to tell an incredible story throughout that time it kind of petered out and kind of fell fit flat towards the end but still he had a brilliant brilliant run and more than likely he'll probably be snapped up by a number of brands anyway sooner rather than later whenever someone else gets fired during the whole process so i'm eager to see what um alessandro michele does at valentino come september i think it's going to be refreshing um to see him again and to see what he does with valentino and i think he's a necessary voice in fashion and i'm happy to see him back i am happy to see him back <laughs>